Yeah, I mean, I mean, why ice? Where does that, I mean, I know these sound like lame questions, but I'm just, I'm, I'm curious as to where the origin. Like, I don't know, it's like nicknames. Like when you're yeah. from the street, a lot of people got nicknames and stuff. And like, you know, being cool, the epitome of being cool is being ice. So a lot of people want to be ice, but very few are. Like my nickname. <laughs> But then my nickname was Little Weasel. I'm not sure what that meant. I know it was. <laughs> I was uh, Charcoal Briquette Hartman. Really? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta rename yourself. Yeah, you just check. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta rename it. Yeah, but sometimes, see, sometimes it works like Vanilla Ice, and suddenly it goes the other way, people just get out of here. It didn't yeah, yeah, if the, if the name doesn't stick, then the people will rename you. Yeah, then that's, <laughs> yeah. And you can't let the people nah, rename you. Nah, it's no, gonna you can't, be bad. can't let that happen. Because, you know, again, you're one of these sort of guys is, you know, when you do these type of shows, you, you hear things, and you say, no, just invite the person on. Exactly. And meet them and see what they have to say. I mean, what is the biggest understanding, would you say, about you, about yourself, in terms what of... What people think about me? Yeah. I don't know, I think a lot of people get, uh, like, me confused with some of the characters I play in my music. You know, they think I'm mad all the time and I want to, you know, tear up stuff and kill stuff all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's only some of the time. That's, only... <laughs> That's... That's like when you're in a good mood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, um, uh, Henry, Right, Henry, Henry Rollins. Rollins. Henry Rollins comes on there. I love Henry. He kills me because he, he, he's a very... He kills you. Yeah, he, he does. That's, that's what they think I'm going to do. They no, think... no, no. <laughs> but he brought up an interesting point. He said in terms of handling success and fans, mm -hmm. like, you know, like you say, when you come from the street and whatnot, and then you make it, how, how does one keep in touch? Don't people just go, oh, well, you know, he's in Hollywood. He's... Well, see, with me, basically, I have all my friends I started out with, all the guys I was in trouble with when I was in high school and growing up. I, I still got the same individuals working yeah. around me now. I, I don't have very m many new friends, even though I've been doing movies and records. If you see me, when you see me, like tonight, you met my guys. Those guys right, I've right. been with all my <laughs> yeah. life. So yeah. they keep you grounded. They'll bust in your head if they right, see you right, trying right. to... Kind of like, like Elvis with Red and the Boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Red, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what did you do before this? Did you have some... I mean, did you have, like, regular jobs? Because you stunned. You really want to know? Yeah, yeah. I did everything. I was involved in a lot of trouble. I used to yeah. do everything, you know, robberies, pimp, uh, hustle. But how do you thing. go? How do you go from that easy money to that, to somehow... It's hard. It's hard. No, no, no. No, seriously. No, well, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I mean, it's like, if you've got a kid, yeah. and, and he's selling something, and he's making two, three hundred dollars a week, how do you say to that kid, look, man, go to McDonald's, make four thirty-five an hour, when the other kid, I mean, how did you go from doing those things and making money doing that? Because yeah. you had to start. Is, True. I mean, you didn't start as a successful rap artist, no. right? I mean, what made you turn the corner and say, I, I want to go this way? Well, after a while, when you're young, you don't see so much of the tragedy that's involved in crime. You know, you just see the kids with the money and, you know, two and three hundred dollars a week is more like two hundred, three hundred dollars a night. Right. right. And, uh, you know, you don't see that, but I, I, I was in it long enough to see what, where it was going to go. And all my friends ended up in penitentiary. I got quite a few individuals I personally know on death row, uh, a lot of dead bodies. And what it ends up telling, you learn that there's no way to retire from that life. Yeah. And you have to choose, first you have to admit to yourself that you can make it another way. You have to, you have to get a little bit more self-confidence in yourself. So you have to look at other people on the street and say, well, they're making it. I can make it. Uh, there's no job in the world that pays as much as crime. And uh, people got to understand that. I mean, even these people that are in these big businesses and these big executives, lot, like the oil companies, those are arch criminals. And they're, uh, <laughs> they're, they're... <laughs> so, so like once you decide that you want to do something legit and do something right, you have to be willing to accept less money. And once you do that, it pays, it pays better, it yeah. differently. You know, you got people walking up to me. Now I got people walking up to me saying, thanks, Ice, and, yo, man, you're doing the right thing. And that's much more important than just getting money. How that. do you handle the ones? <laughs> but how do you handle those ones that come up to you and have the other attitude, like, oh, you sold out, you know, this, that, next thing, you know, you're I don't not really run it. I don't really run into people telling me yeah. I sold out because to me, selling out is not success. It's when you lose contact with your agendas. 
and I'm still down with the hood. I still work with the gang truce organizations in the city, and I, you know, the, the people that really know about me know I'm still down with the brothers from the bottom. Right. You know, the people on the top, they don't need nobody. They're doing all right. Yeah. Now, I got to worry about my homies that are stuck out there in the streets that aren't as fortunate as me, and that's where all my work goes yeah. and where my love goes. Well, Let me take it in a whole nother direction. We got that still of you in the movie. You oh. play a kangaroo in this movie. Look at it. Look at this. How many hours of makeup, how many hours is that a day sitting there? It's painful just to look at that, man. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was in a chair for three and a half hours every day, and um, they were gluing this stuff on your face. And the first day when you do it, you, you're like, it's fun, you know, it's cool. But about Four days into that, yeah, man. you get suicidal, man. You're like, I can't do it any longer. But the film came out good, and it, you know, it'll be worth it. Okay, it opens uh, this March 31st. Friday, yeah. March 31st. Ice. Tanker. Nice Tanker. 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 Tanker.